a little emotional. I'm probably going to cry, so make for good footage for you guys. As most of you know, Lane and Ryan met in high school. And up until that point, Ryan was the best thing to ever happen to Lane. In 2019, she met me. And I like to think I gave Ryan a little competition for that title. And that me and Lane's friendship really keeps Ryan performing at the top of his game. But in front of everyone, I want to admit defeat and hand over the trophy to Ryan for the best thing that's ever happened to Lane. Welcome family, friends, and loved ones. We are gathered here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, the joining of two hearts. In this ceremony today, we will witness the joining of Ryan and Lane in marriage. Not one time over the last five years has I ever have I ever heard Ryan say anything unsure about his future with Lane. From day one, his intentions and his love for Lane have been apparent, and it was always supposed to culminate in this moment right here tonight. Ryan and Lane, I wish you both the best, and you both are like family to me. I don't know two people in my life that are better together than these two. Your friends and family described you as authentic, intelligent, stubborn, unapologetically honest, and funny. Ryan, you and I both know that when Lane does something, she commits herself 110% and sometimes it's too much. <laughs> she couldn't do it without you. Um, I can attest to you being patient and supportive and loving to my best friend, and I just want to say thank you. Lane, I thought when I asked people for words to describe you, I would get a lot of the same responses. so wrong. If I stood up here and listed all the amazing ways these people described you, I'd be up here all night. You were described as the Diet Coke Queen, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, giving, supportive, hilarious, the supplier of candy, especially today. You're selfless, empathetic, and an inspiration. So good. <laughs> Thank you. To keep your marriage brimming with love in the loving cup, whenever you're wrong, admit it. Whenever you're right, shut up. <laughs> oh. When I asked you to marry me, I had no doubt in my mind that it would be the smartest decision I have ever made. Many of the people here have shared that same sentiment with both of us. Lane, you are the most selfless, kind, and thoughtful person I've ever met. And I want to make sure that I can be that person for you. You always go out of your way to make sure everyone is taken care of, and you were doing it yesterday, the day before your wedding. Ryan, as we stand here on our wedding day, my heart is overflowing with love for you. You have made me feel more complete, more alive and have shown me the true meaning of happiness since the moment you came into my life. Looking back on the first day we ever met, it's kind of crazy to think about because I never would have guessed then that every day since we'd be slowly building the most unbreakable bond and you'd be the person I get to spend the rest of my life with. I want to spend the rest of my life with you together, making sure that you're as happy as you can be because you deserve it. There is an old expression, the cobbler often wears the worst shoes meaning we spend our efforts taking care of others before ourselves. My job now is to make sure you always have nice shoes. Not actual shoes, because you have a lot of those. <laughs> but I want you to always feel supported in every aspect of your life, knowing that no matter, I will, no matter what, I will always be there for you. 
You are the best thing that has ever happened to me without question. And I, so, I know simply based on how we make each other laugh that there is never any doubt that we would end up together. I wish I could go back in time and tell that 15 year old girl in driver's ed who is more focused on you than learning how to drive um, that she would be one day living her dream. You've been a constant source of love and joy. You're kind, thoughtful, and have the sweetest heart. Your sense of humor and sassy wit continues to make me fall in love with you every day. I'm proud of the man that you are, and I truly believe that I'm a better person with you by my side. With you, I feel safe, loved, accepted, and appreciated. I never dreamed that I'd find someone who balances me out so well, who I'd be fully myself with. Am I calm in my study? You see me for who I am and love me at my best and my worst. That's why today, in front of you, our friends and our family, I take you to be my partner, loving what I know of you and trusting what I do not yet know. Ryan, I promise to respect you as an equal and to recognize that your interests, desires, and needs are as important as mine. You have changed me for the better in ways that I can't begin to explain, and I have helped you try new foods, so I would call that even. I promise to spend the rest of our lives together trying to make you happy, trying to make you laugh, because it truly is the best medicine, and as long as I can make you laugh, and at the end of the day, I know that we will be okay. I love you. I am who I am because of you. You are every reason, every hope, and every dream I've ever had. I promise to be the best wife that I can be, and then one day I will be the best mother to our children. I can't wait to grow old together, getting to know the man you'll become, and falling in love a little more every day. Today, I give you my hand, my heart, and my love unconditionally, completely and forever. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ryan, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> and dear friends, I present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Ryan Ripley. other so well. Everyone in here adores you. I just hope tonight that above all else you feel the love and support coming from everyone in this room and the love and respect that you have for each other more than you have felt in your whole lives. <sighs> Lastly, when it comes to the Ripley family, Murphy's my favorite. <laughs> so let's all toast to Mr. and Mrs. Ripley. 